Despite the government's positive six-month report, there's still much doubt as to whether or not Thailand's economy has hit rock bottom, and it's on the way to recovery as people continue to become unemployed. To get a glimpse as to what the government has been doing, TAN Network takes a look at Tun Kla Chief, a skilled training program set up by the cabinet to train people as they're in between jobs. Courses range from culinary courses on Thai food to advanced courses of teaching computer programs. What makes this program unique from regular government programs is not only are they free, but participants get a daily allowance during the training. This program is not uh, just only for the people to return to their job. Uh, we also uh, try to uh, make the new entrepreneur uh, because uh, some of them are uh, uh, lay off from the uh, industry and uh, their, their age is quite high so it's difficult to uh, go back uh, to work in the industry anymore. The response to the program has been overwhelming with 70,000 or so people having applied this year alone as many seek for new skills to get more job opportunity. <laughs> As good as the program may seem, there's still the question as to whether or not it will make a difference to the Thai public, as only 40,000 people have been chosen for the program this year. There's also the question of whether or not the cost will be worth it. Each participant receives a daily allowance of 190 baht per day for the 20-day course for food and transportation. Overall, each participant gets 4,800 baht. This year, the government aims to give the service to 240,000 people. This means that the budget for this program alone is above more than 1.2 billion baht. Yet perhaps we should look through the cost of this program and look at the overall long-term goal of the government. And that is to ensure the Thai people have an opportunity to become a more skilled labor market for foreign investors. I would say in general, I applaud governments who are doing anything in upskilling. If that is moving a basic environment to learn how to become a short order cook or a chef or a sous chef or someone to move into the skilled trades, government dollars associated with upskilling their population is, has the highest efficacy of any programs. Jeffrey A. Jerez is the CEO and chairman of Manpower Recruitment Company, one of the top recruitment companies in the world. During his trip to Thailand, he says Thailand does not have much to worry about, as out of the 82 countries where Manpower is present, Thailand is one of the top two best-performing countries for his company. The other country is Mexico. And although he has included Vietnam in his Southeast Asian tour, he says Thailand remains one of the most attractive markets for foreign investment in the region. According to him, Vietnam, a competitor of Thailand, is not yet as developed as the kingdom. But we have to be very careful in Vietnam because there are as many kinds of work that we would not want to do. Um, there are many things that the, the labor rates are too low, the environment is not safe enough for our people, so we will be very particular in what we do because we, at the end of the day, the most important thing is our brand. And we're not going to put our brand in a situation um, where it becomes news. Jiras, however, advises Thais to be cautious as the government's positive V economy prediction may turn out to be a W economy, given the fact that this is the first time the world has faced a global recession. We're at Soilalai Sub, an avenue that caters to office workers, where shops sell different goods at lunchtime. Now you can see here things are pretty busy, but after interviewing some of them, we've discovered that they don't exactly think that the economy would become better. Despite the positive reports coming from the government and also the private sectors that things will be good in the upcoming years, the question is, will they? People haven't actually known what are the true effects of a global recession. 
and therefore we will have to make sure that the Thai labor is able to be flexible and agile to be competitive in the future. For Thai Aussie News Network, I'm Charlie Rakhijanon.